Brittany here with Corona Yoga, and today we're going to be learning about Ashtanga Yoga. We're going to be going through some of their primary series sequence, going into warming up our body, doing a nice standing sequence, and then sitting down, um, enjoying a beautiful savasana. So let's get started. Let's sit on our knees in our hero pose. Unless our knees are bothering us, then sitting in easy pose or bound angle, Bhattakanasana. Sliding the palms into the body, deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Tuning into the breath as we tune into our practice. In Ashtanga, it's important that we never sacrifice our breath, keeping a nice pace throughout. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Taking two more belly breaths. And opening our eyes, let's get on our feet and on the front of our mats for some beautiful, wonderful sun salutations. Now in Ashtanga Yoga, they set up with five rounds of A series and five rounds of B series. We instead are gonna do three rounds of B series, working with a shorter amount of time. Alignment is very important in Ashtanga. So let's find our alignment in mountain pose before we begin. Coming between our toes and our heels and resting, resting, resting our weight right in between. Rolling the thighs out so that our knees are facing forward. Centering our hips so that our butt doesn't stick out and neither does our pelvis. Centering our shoulders. And let's gently turn the palms away from the body and then turn them back in so that our shoulders integrate in the back. And it gaze forward, keeping this tension to hold this posture for three deep breaths. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let it all go. Now in Ashtanga, it's really important that we find our dristi or our point of focus in front of us, a stationary point that isn't moving. And then we're just going to gaze into it, allowing our eyes to return here throughout our practice to clear our mind. And when we're ready, we'll begin our sun salutation, inhaling the palms up and staring past the fingers. Exhale and fold forward. Inhale to our half fold and exhale back into the body. Inhale, walk or hop the feet back into our plank. Exhale, lower down chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog, shoulders together. Exhale, roll back to downward facing dog. Inhale, our right leg up. Exhale, guide it forward. Inhale, reach our arms up in our crescent. Exhale, back down. Right foot comes back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, back down. Inhale to left leg up. Exhale it forward into a lunge. Inhale the arms up into crescent. Exhale, back down, left foot comes back, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale, back down for five deep breaths. Now as we inhale, we're gonna press through the fingers, drop the chest, come off the heels. Exhale, lower the heels. Four more times, drop the chest, come off the heels. Exhale, lower them down, just three more. Slow and steady breath. Finding our comfort. And inhale to plank. Exhale, walk or hop forward to our fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, back in. Inhale, butt back, reach up into our chair. Exhale, palms to chest. Inhale up. Exhale. 
exhale and fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, back in. Inhale, walk or hop to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down. Inhale, the right leg up. Exhale, forward to a lunge. Inhale to crescent. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale back down. Inhale left leg up. Exhale it forward. Inhale to crescent. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. Exhale back down for five deep breaths. Inhale, sink the chest, lift the heels. Exhale, lower them down. Four more breaths. Inhale to plank. Exhale, walk or hop to our fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, back into the body. Inhale to our chair. Exhale, palms the chest. Just one more round. Inhale up. Exhale and fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, back in. Inhale, walk or hop to plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back down. Inhale, our right leg up. Exhale, it forward. Inhale to crescent. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to up dog, exhale back down. Inhale the left leg up, exhale it forward. Inhale to crescent, exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog, exhale back down. Five breaths here. Come off the heels as we inhale. Lower them down as we exhale. Really let that chest come to the knees as we inhale. Exhale, lower down. Three more breaths. Walk or hop forward. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, back in. Inhale to our chair. Exhale, hands to heart. Beautiful. Now we're going to go into a set of Ashtanga Yoga postures, holding them each for five breaths. We're going to come back to Tadasana in between a lot to help find our beautiful alignment so that we make sure that every position we're putting our body into is biomechanically sound. So let's get started, coming back to our Tadasana. Big toes together, spreading our feet, finding that happy spot to distribute our weight between our toes and our heels. Rolling the thighs out, knees come forward, hips centered, shoulders centered. Three nice deep breaths here. Remembering our dristi. When we're ready, we'll inhale our arms back up so that our chest and hips come forward and then we'll exhale, coming back to our fold. 
We'll place the palms on the ground in front of us if they reach. If not, letting them hang wherever they're at. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Keeping our weight balanced. Three more belly breaths. When we're ready, we're going to walk our palms underneath our hands. And if we're not there yet, we're going to walk our hands a little bit further down our legs and give a nice grip for five deep breaths. Still staying balanced between our feet. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. Finding that happy place in our Tadasana between our toes and our heels. Our knees forward, hip center, shoulder center, deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Gaze on our dristi. One more belly breath here. And when we're ready, we'll gently turn the palms up to the side, shift our weight off of our right heel, and step back into a nice wide-legged lunge. Hugging the knees towards one another, surrender our right heel down, keep our hips forward, and then straighten our left leg. We're going to turn our body to the side, and then gently lean into our triangle, our left hand on the outside of our left foot. Our eyes stare past our fingers for five deep breaths. Now we're going to do our best not to sink into our left hand. Instead, reach through the right. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Making sure that the left knee is gentle, not bent and not overextended, but right in between. Three more belly breaths. down to the inside of our left foot. We're going to ground the fingers and lift the left arm up into our twisted triangle for three deep breaths. Again, not sinking into this right hand and letting the twist come as it may. Two more belly breaths. left palm comes down. We gently bring our right foot to meet our left and we'll step our left foot back. Gently ground the left heel behind the right and inhale the arms up into our warrior. Exhale, drop the back arm in our warrior two. Straighten the right leg. Bring the right hand to the outside of the right heel. Taking five deep breaths here. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. Keeping a beautiful tension between the front and the back knees to hold our ground. Two more belly breaths. Our left arm comes down as our right arm gently comes up for five deep breaths. You may notice that one side is a little bit harder than the other. Breathing through this tension to find your calm. One more belly breath. Gently 
coming back in. We'll step our left foot forward to meet our right. And slide up the body, stacking the spine. One vertebrae at a time. Coming to our standing. Finding our dristi. Finding that center point between our toes and our heels. Rolling the thighs out, letting the knees face forward, center hips, center shoulders, three deep breaths. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let all the air go. When you think it's all out, gently engage the abdomen to let go of the last. When we're ready, palms gracefully come out to the side. Come off the right heel. We're gonna gently step our right foot back into a lunge. Hugging the knees, ground the right heel. Turn into our warrior two. Bring the left hand to the outside of the left foot. Coming into our side angle and turn the palm down towards the ground, reaching it overhead for extended side. Taking five deep breaths here. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. Doing our best to keep our right shoulder over our left. Two more belly breaths. gently reaching our right arm back up, grounding it inside the left foot. Reach our left arm up and turn the palm to the ground, reaching it overhead for five deep breaths. Just two more. Left arm comes up, bring our left hand down, our right foot comes forward to meet the left, and our left leg comes back. Grounding the heel in line with the right heel, inhaling to our warrior one. Exhale, dropping back, warrior two. Inhaling forward, surrendering the right palm to the outside of the foot. Gently turning the left palm down and reaching it overhead. Deep breaths in. Complete breaths out. Four more belly breaths. Just two more. Left arm comes back up, grounding it inside our right foot as we reach our right arm up. Turning the right palm up and overhead, facing the ground. Deep breaths in, complete breaths out. Just four more. Right arm comes up. We gently bring it back down as the right foot comes forward to meet our left. Surrender the crown and slide up the body, stacking the spine one vertebrae at a time. Now we're gonna come back to our Tadasana. I'm coming to the middle of our mat because we are going wide legged. Finding our dristi, our point of focus. Balancing between the toes and the heels. Coming to the knees, rolling the thighs, centering the hips, centering the shoulders for three deep breaths. Just two more. And 
since they both study under Krishnamacharya, let's take a tip for Iyengar to jump out. Palms up to the chest, deep inhale, exhale, jump to the side. Now we're gonna make sure that our feet are parallel. Roll those thighs out, knees forward, center hips, center shoulders. Turn the palms up, eyes come up, chest and hips forward, deep breath in. Exhale and fold towards the ground. When you get parallel, surrender the palms down in front of you. Eyes forward, deep inhale. Exhale, bend at the elbows, sliding the palms between the feet. Taking five deep breaths here. Keeping tension between the elbows. Keeping the thighs rolled out. Keeping the center of our feet. Three more belly breaths. When we're ready, interlacing our fingers behind the back and sliding them around the butt so that we're gently hugging our thighs if we can't reach, grabbing a strap. Five deep breaths. Do your best to keep those knees straight. to prepare for our savasana. We're going to walk our legs out in front of us, bring our hands to our knees and slowly come onto our back one vertebrae at a time. Now since Patabi Joyce, the creator of Ashtanga Yoga, did everything in a linear fashion to help our body feel amazing after our practice, let's work the knees for just a little bit, work the legs for just a little bit, so that we reintegrate our hips and feel great tomorrow. I'm gonna slide our left leg in, stack our right knee over top of it, taking five deep breaths here. This is reintegrating our hips. Four more. We can even interlace our foot, our right foot behind our left ankle. Now we're going to gently switch side, bring our right foot down, our left knee goes over top, five deep breaths. release our feet. Let's bring our knees together as we straighten our legs up and overhead. Now we can bring our feet up against a wall to come into our official Vipari 
or just bring our hands between our knees on the opposite side of our knees, grounding our lower back and our shoulders. Five deep breaths here, letting tension go from the ankles, go from the legs. Inhale, fill the belly. Exhale, let it go. Just three more. And we'll gently bend at the knees, bring the hands into the side and go into two gentle twists before our savasana. Our knees come to the left as our eyes come right. Left palm down, knees come up and over to the right as the eyes come left. We'll slowly make our way back to center as our legs come down into our corpse pose. Our hands to our hips will close our eyes and enter our savasana, letting tension go from the body as we melt into the mat. For the next one minute, we have nowhere to go and nowhere to be but right here. When we're ready, we'll bring our attention back to the body, moving the fingers and toes. We'll bring one knee into the chest at a time. So we rock over to our right side and into our sleeping baby, preparing our body for motion. We press through the ground and return to our seat, into our easy pose or into our hero. Hands at heart center, ending our practice bowing to one another, bowing to our beautiful bodies and honoring the light within each of us, which is the same. Namaste. Thank you so much for enjoying our Ashtanga yoga with us today. Um, each week there'll be a new style of modern yoga that's just loosely interpreted. I am not an Ashtanga teacher, I'm just a Hatha yoga teacher, but doing my best to learn all of the different modern styles so that I can meet anyone I meet exactly where they're at. So I hope you enjoyed this and come back for more. See you soon.